If you have straight lines in your images, such as buildings or horizons, rule of thirds is probably your best choice as a compositional theme. This image has strong vertical and horizontal lines, which makes it an excellent candidate for rule of thirds. The way you apply the rule is that you try and align the strongest vertical and horizontal lines with the lines on the grid and try and place the part of your image that has the most visual interest where the lines intersect and to avoid placing anything that is strong in the center of the image. The rule of thirds is very helpful in landscape photography because you usually have an horizon line to deal with. In this picture of the boat, we actually have an implied horizon line by the reflection in the water. Anytime you have a strong line in the image, such as this, you want to try and place the horizon line on one of the thirds. And in this case, I'm using the edge of the boat reflection because I want to have the major part of the information in the upper image, upper portion of the image. A little advice when you're photographing In this image, the rule of thirds was chosen, mainly because of the clouds behind the lighthouse. We wanted to allow space for the clouds to move into the image. This space is referred to as anticipatory space. So by placing the lighthouse on the right-hand side of the image, we created a much more dynamic composition.